Hello fellow simmers. In my previous video I outlined a very simple fix to get rid of control spikes on the Logitech G940 throttles R1 and R2 axes. At the end of that video I said that I was also having problems with the G940's rudder pedals. More specifically I have been getting very annoying faulty control inputs on the left toe brake. But I had also been struggling with the rudder control not centering correctly. While I unfortunately have been unable to resolve the former, I have stumbled upon a hardware fix for the latter. I have found the relevant electronics for the toe brakes to be very difficult to access. But to address the issue with, in my case, the left toe brake, there are still options. I'm actually lucky as I have only had a problem on one of the two toe brakes. In this situation, you can simply assign the right toe brake to control all of your aircraft's brakes. Unfortunately, some of the aircraft which I fly absolutely need independent left and right brake control to be steerable on the ground. I have applied a software dead zone on both toe brakes and the device now behaves acceptably. Now, as for how to get the rudder control to center properly, I will not take full credit for the following steps. In the description you will find a link to a video by another YouTube user in which he demonstrates what he did. The video is in Portuguese, but it is easy to follow his steps nonetheless. He used a pair of pliers to tighten the contact between the wires and the potentiometer, which measures the rudder input. I have gone one step further and applied some solder on top of these troubled contacts. So I would like to thank Marco77ACV DCS Brazil for sharing his fix. Again, to the best of my knowledge, opening the device, which will be necessary, will void your warranty. Please be aware of this before proceeding. As for tools, you will only need a PH0 screwdriver and a pair of pliers to do what he has done a soldering iron, some solder to go along with it, and electrical tape will be needed if you want to go the extra mile. Start by removing all 19 screws on the bottom of the device. Once you have done this, you should be able to remove the plastic cover without much force. Now you can see the potentiometer. Simply use your pliers to tighten the connection between it and the wires to which it connects as so. And that is it. You can now reassemble the device if you wish. If you do want to add solder, I'm going to assume that you already know how to do so. If not, search online. I'm afraid that I myself am not very good at it, so I would not feel comfortable instructing you how to solder. I can however say that you must pay great attention not to bridge the contacts with the solder you apply. Wrap the contacts in electrical tape at the end, just to be on the safe side. I hope that this video has been useful to you. I have very little spare time, but I will continue to look into the matter and maybe I will figure out how to make the toe brakes behave not only acceptably, but rather satisfactorily. Take care.